One kind of school takeover teaches kids the value of a dollar. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is the Delaware State Treasurer, Velda Jones Potter. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to be here. We're talking about a very unique public private partnership where financial educators are actually going in, taking over a school, and really getting kids engaged about financial education. Yeah, we are. It's, it's an innovative new initiative that we have in partnership with uh, the State Treasurer's Office, my office, and TD Bank, where we're actually going into schools, we're taking the entire school over, and we are submersing them in financial education for 90 minutes or so. And you focus on elementary school students. So what can a kindergartner or first grader really learn about financial education? Well, it, it's amazing what they're able to learn and grasp about the whole notion of, um, of making decisions about your money, saving, understanding uh, needs versus wants. And we do it in such a way that we, we connect them to things that have value for them. So um, we introduce them to coins, so they understand the relative value of various coins. But we also introduce the notion of, uh, of delaying your decision to spend or consume lollipops, for example, is what we use with the kindergartners. And um, they're given the option of consuming their lollipop at the beginning of the class or waiting until the very end. And if they wait, they get more than one lollipop. So they very quickly grasp the notion of, you know, I have something to gain if I hold on to this, save it, and wait. So really that incentive of, of saving their learning, even at six years old. Even at six years old. Now, when we move up to the, the higher grades, when you're mm -hmm. talking about a fourth or a fifth grader, they can understand broader concepts. What are some of the things that you're doing within the classroom with them? Well, at the older grades, for example, we introduce them to the banking system so that they understand the benefit of being a part of the banking system, placing your money in a bank. Um, very fundamental skills like how do you make a deposit? How do you fill out a deposit slip? How do you write a check when you want to have access to your money? How do you make a withdrawal? And what's happening with your money while it's there? It's gaining interest. The bank is paying you while you leave money there. And you should see how excited they are about the notion of somebody paying them to have their money in their bank. So getting kids excited about savings. Very much so. And, um, and, and at each grade level, they are taught by, uh, in our case, uh, TD Bank employees who volunteer their time to come in. And they, those employees have been trained themselves in financial education using a curriculum that's teacher approved. And at each grade level, they're presenting them with these concepts. Why is it important to work in an individual classroom and take over an entire school with, with several different financial educators rather than to do this in a group or assembly setting? Well, we've chosen to do a takeover because we really want to leave an impression with the children. And it gives us an opportunity to reach 300, 350 children at once versus a small classroom of, of 20 to 30 children. So the takeover brings a whole nother level of excitement to, to the children and, and to the school. Um, we prefer to do it in the classroom versus in an assembly because they're so much more distracted in a large group setting. And the classroom is where they learn every single day. So they're very comfortable there and they welcome and invite us in. So far, you've taken over two different schools. You're, you're looking to do more at this point, but the kids also get a goodie bag, if you will, to take home to engage their parents in this conversation as they, well. They do. We understand that for this to be lasting, we have to engage and involve the parents. So uh, we communicate with the parents on the front end so that they know this takeover is happening. When their kids come home all excited and talking about what happened, the parents have some advance notice of what to expect. The goodie bag that they take home has an activity book in it that the parent is encouraged to work with them so that they can continue to learn. Um, it also has information on how the parent can access the WOW zone, which allows them to help them with online learning. All right, a lot of great information and a way to get our kids learning and excited about savings. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. We're excited to be doing it. We've been talking with the Delaware State Treasurer, Velda Jones-Potter. I'm Jill Horner.